Uh, call options on subdivisions. Look, this has been done in Australia for yonks. And my, what it might be is someone in Wagga's got eight acres of land. You know, you've, you've then, no, it's been for sale. You're out the, uh, the council, you've got a mate on the council and say, look, can this land be subdivided? He goes, yes. So you go, okay. So then, then what you might be able to do uh, with that is, um, uh, what, really what you're trying to do with that is on sell that land to, to another developer. So, I mean, there are steps. Be careful, this one, it can cost you a lot of money if you're going to go through the whole DA approval. Yes, you can secure the property. Yes, you can secure the land. There are a lot of people out there with land who would just like something, somebody to do something with it. If you can offer them a solution and maybe um, get, get that land uh, on sold to a developer, fantastic. But uh, it can be, like I said, it can be a very expensive process if it goes sideways. If, if you've done all your due diligence, you've done all the work, you've done all the stuff through to council, it's taken you a long time to do it, uh, it can be very expensive, but also be very profitable. Uh, okay, uh, now the thing is, um, this, this is the one I like. Well, uh, I hear people say, I was able to purchase a $2 million block land or a $5 million beach house for only a few dollars. Like I said, I'll sit in the audience like you guys, my blood boils. Because what are you going to do with the property then? What are you going to do with that $2 million property? What's your exit strategy? Oh, I know a few things to do with them, but the thing is you must be an experienced property investor before you start to 